abstraction between network and graphics and <laughs> users. You know, you can have multiple versions of all those things. It's very confusing for a self uh, It was uh, fucking like, cool, man. Uh, it, was in, it was in Putty. And yeah. on Win XP, hey, on these two computers can talk for each other without buying that one. No, no, no. What was really cool though was I did uh, screen. I did screen. I ran screen and I piped it to a FIFO nice. buffer that I'd created on one machine. Mm -hmm. And then I did a little and squiggly thing and said, and give me back. Call just ran in the background. <laughs> Is that an and answer? And. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the and squiggly thing. The the technical terms here. That's what, tool. 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 That's what you say to. Uh, oh, that's a. Yeah, it, it, it's and where ampersand comes from. And I thought you said and. <laughs> Translate no, no. to ampersand. And squiggly thing? No. Right? No. Well, I, I was Jack actually and. wanted to use. <laughs> what, I, what I was searching for and that didn't It'll come was not the name it's of the character crazy. ampersand, but what is what is the name for its function in that context? Background. Okay, so I, oh. I put it, forced it to the background right. with the ampersand character. Or well, you could use BG. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, is, is BG. Uh, in fact, interpreted by your shell. Yes. Yeah. So it's not a program. Well, use the shell with shell. But if you pause, <laughs> if you pause a process with stop, how do you start it again? Control Z. FG. FG, right? You sure? Yeah. If you if you control Z it. Yeah. yeah. You can BG it or FG it. But there's. I did that the other day. I fucked up. I had Vi. I had Vi. I went Shift Z Z, but instead of Shift Z Z, I went Control Z, and I went. Where did Vi go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm like, didn't it say yes, Vi's gone? It might have. It may be the only way to get rid of it. Well, the thing was, right, I did press Shift ZZ, which is save and quit. So I was expecting it to go away. Right? So, but instead of it saving and yeah. closing, yeah. it just went to the background. Yeah. So the difference between Control-Z and Shift-Z, that's a big difference, my friend. That's why you don't like <laughs> pretend that they're synonyms. That's why I don't get how you confuse yeah, Control-Z with Shift-Z. <laughs> <Lately. laughs> In physicality. How did you confuse the two? One's three buttons, so, one's no, two. Three. I press, press Control-Z, Control-Z. Uh, yeah, that's what I pressed. I pressed Control-Z, Z. Yeah, instead of Shift-Z, Z. How does this relate back to... Well, that's how I discovered foreground and background and the control Z force things in the background. Oh my god. Because then I ran it again later and I said, oh, I'm recovering from corrupt and I had to save my changes. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. I figured it out. Are you trying to screen from within a screen? Yeah, I still haven't got the Zen of screen. I don't yeah, screen it's pretty Zen. <laughs> You're still not up there in the fuck yeah. screen you I mean, You don't do split screen. Oh, yeah. Split screen. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't name your screen. Name your screen, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh no, I name my screens in KDE when I press F12. F12, that's awesome. Hey Jeff, what's the name of this app that you run in KDE to so press the F12 button and it animates down and... Oh, it's it's through Zayn Ripoff. Dashboard. Uh, it's, 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 it's Sidebar. But with a K, it's uh, the console that comes down from the top. It gives you a quake console, but it's just a terminal. Ah, it's really okay. nice. It's, it's kick-ass, man. Have you used press F12? Well, if you can't press F12 and get your console... You're living in the, the, the 20th century. Yeah, forget about it. Move up. You might as well. What you can do is you can press all the apps. Don't be the one that's old. Day friend from school. Uh, he picked up or just happened to bump into it. Either it's a big or it's a Let's say we're two machines you get, now. So I've got, say, a dumb term, uh, so to speak. So and I'm doing this sort of VPN thing. sort of work. Well, let's well, well, take a simple external, right? Like an NCD or a movie external, sitting on a desk with keyboard and mouse. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, so sitting on a... No, no, I, this is a this is a that's desktop. right. So we might think of a server somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Is the client. Yeah. The applications themselves. That's right. Some sort of... That's right, yep. The when yeah. first of the Windows Manager to, on the server back home, it's got, has had the server, and then has made a really connection to port 6000, not just plain number, usually just 6000, yep. on the gigahertz. terminal, which is the X server. One with I think 2 gigabytes of RAM. Ah, RAM is, so the client calls it. So the program gets back to the server, which is going to control the hardware. 677 or 800. starts telling it. I'll like show this shit. Draw yeah, 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 okay, no worries. And those directives start drawing you to seize them. No, I mean, it wasn't right. Server talks, respond to the client. The client gets a message and says, oh, this is do this, change state, and says, yeah, that's how it works. Yep. Okay, 
Okay, sweet. I'll double check again. I've got all the details. Okay, good. That's that's perfect. The guts of it. It's different to the <laughs> works or I sell it around. Was that insulting? Good. It's like it's not as two gigabytes with a Yeah, no. I get it now. I just need to know if it's a good one. It's not a one that's gold plated stuff. I mean, not gold, literally gold plated. You don't need it in graphics hardware at all. Yeah, there are special cases it's where you don't do this, uh, but it'd be sort of... Drive, what's your so special cases? I, 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 I can go okay, there now. I'm ready. Okay, so special, <laughs> special cases are... Uh, Have you seen um, things like... Westgate uh, just bought out... XVNC. Uh, it's called the Raptor X. Oh, so what is it? No, 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 it's a 10,000 RPM um, SATA drive. Oh, the Linux yeah. thing. No, no, no. With a window on the top. The Nexo with no real frame buffer. 10 frame buffer. That you can... And when you say frame buffer, you just mean graphics buffer. Yeah, it's got you. Right, um, so if you're running some sort of automated tests that yeah. need to talk to an X server but don't care what happens. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a null implementation it's a null of implementation. an X server. It's, it's cool. But is that the only special case? That's one of. Uh, another is... Did you have any in mind when you brought it up? No. Oh, so you're <laughs> just saying, oh, but you don't actually need to do shit. So the next, <laughs> the next one is XVNC. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah. I could have said that. You, have you don't actually have to turn your computer on if you don't want. <laughs> just thought I'd remind everyone. <laughs> you know what VNC is? Ah, uh, yes I do, but I don't know exactly how it works. Well, it works kind of the other way. You have a client app which runs as a user space app under some host operating system. That's right. That displays stuff. Oh, that's yeah. It connects to a server. Yeah, which is a far way. more natural way to um, Which is now more natural way to remember. <laughs> remember. Yeah, it, was, it was a pretty good oh, one. Right. It had two for six <laughs> megabrams. And uh, okay. it, was, it was some sort of... Yeah. Oh, let's take it. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you next time I'm in this end. <laughs> what happened to your eyes, dude? <laughs> oh, you didn't? Oh, you, you, you did. Oh, he's black. I'm wearing a dress right now. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's true. That's the way they work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so the machine's back on, and we're in the middle of the next one. Talk from your back on. Yeah, good point. So it's this, it has no head. Just it's the way I prefer to do it. Wouldn't it be a VNC client? The VNC has its own implementation of an X server within it, but it also exports itself to a client. The VNC is your list of logic connects to a Why is everyone sitting around drinking beer? Why not? It's not the only way to make VNC with X. VNC is much like RDP. Or oh, oh, yeah. oh. Dark, much more sensibly done. I know exactly what it is. Um, I ran it the other day. It's not like I had to because I, 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 needed, I just needed to get to connect it to the console. If session okay. console is session, I'm like super small these things. Well, maintain state on the in the server. Yeah, on the up road. If you lose connection to it, you just stop it. That means it's almost like it really is like running AIDA, so it's not like you run it when you connect to it. Yeah. It's like screen with graphics. Yeah, exactly. That's a, yeah. The 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 so there are several servers. Uh, the XPNC one, which is a double server, works back. Mm. There's also a screen pack one that ties the connects to an XPNC server. Oh, it's really good. It's a good XPNC server. Is that just so that you can get. It's just a module. Why don't you make it work the way Windows XPNC works? The Windows VNC server works. Just copy this screen to somebody else and then copy all the other screen. Yeah, that's what I jumped down. Oh, is that? Is that the one where he signed it? Yeah. So there's cases where the X server does control the hardware. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but it rather yeah, it calls it directly into the actual yeah. You don't run it first to the main manager. Yes. It's yeah. like a yeah. panel and yeah. the office up yeah. there. Yeah. And just says, it's bits into the frame buffer. Whatever the kernel says, we'll do that. Okay. You install Firefox and you start browsing, it sends every single page that you visit to Google to make sure that it's not a, sp a phishing site. Yeah, it's even worse. So what do you use for searching? Firefox has anti-phishing. Mama. www.mama.com And every URL you type in, in Canada, it does a request to Google to check the, the, the Patriot Act. Oh, 
and it's not owned by Google. Well, it, at one point it had a list of anti of I still fishing sites, and it's it like did a check against the index. But well, now it's doing a combination of the two. Is it Firefox two? Firefox two. Mum is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I see you on that Google yeah. photo yeah. from Australia Day? Yes. I think we should call Firefox. The other oh, Firefox. Okay. Ice Weasel, exactly. The other Firefox. Because, you know, Firefox goes direct to users, and those users who like to defer to a distributor must be, I don't know, someone else. Where? That one, So they want to control their trademark. <laughs> Iron Fist! That's really weird. Sun! Are we talking Debian? Sun! Because He's finally got his head around this. Why? Are we talking about Debian? How they. Are they... talking about Java? Yeah. yeah. Are you talking about how Firefox can't be called Firefox and Debian? Yeah, yes. Or, or anyone else. Anyone else that wants to... No, anyone devices. else that wants Firefox to... Firefox binaries only. Recompile it. Nope. Anyone no. else no. recompile it. Yes. It's a yeah. license code. You, you can only be delivering Firefox binaries. Yeah. So, if Debian had have said, okay, we'll just distribute the binary with Debian. Yeah, they Debian! Can't. Uh, yeah. They can't. I can the see De Debian. Debian's own policies make it Debian. Debian. What's that? Debian's own packaging policies make it their own packaging Debian. policies are ridiculous. Uh -huh. anyway. yeah. Well, no, 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 no